Hi, my name is Sophie Laborwit, and I'm the Education Assistant at the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology. Over time, as humans got more advanced, we developed culture and art. Some of the earliest instances of this art can be found in cave paintings. Today, we're going to get inspired by these old cave paintings and make some of our own. Let's go! For this project, you will need some paint, which is earthy colors like red, orange, brown, white, a piece of paper, mine is gray, and I put some brown paper underneath it so that if any paint gets anywhere, then my desk will be protected. Some paint brushes and some water to wash them off. So the first step, we're going to take the paper and crumple it up really nicely, being careful not to tear it. Then unfold it and make sure that it's flat enough to paint on. With a dry brush, without putting it in water, dip it in some light brown paint and dry brush all the way across the painting, starting at the edges and then working towards the center. It's okay if there's streaks on the side or streaks in the middle because we really want the uneven painting to replicate a rock. To add to the uneven rock effect, we're going to tear off the sides of the edges to make it rougher and more cave-like. Once that's done, I'm going to start and I'm going to paint a horse. So to begin, I'm going to make these two humps, kind of, like um, two hills, and then bring down a line so it kind of looks like a bean with a stem. That stem is going to be our tail. Then I'm going to draw a square for the head, and we'll give him a little ear, and then give him four legs. So that the legs don't look just like the tail, I'm going to make them a little bit thicker and make them into triangles and fill them in with the black paint. Then to color him in, I'm going to use a kind of orangey red color, so I'm going to mix that and just fill him in. It's okay if the paint is uneven because we're replicating kind of rougher cave drawings which wouldn't have been exact. I am also using the reddish brown colors and the orangey colors and the black because those were very co common pigments found in cave paintings. and. That's because they were easier to get a hold of to take more inspiration or to look at more cave paintings. You can go to maxwellmuseum.unm.edu, clicking on education and then educational resources and checking out the cave art activities. We're going to give this guy some friends and repeat the same process and then We'll just fill them in with the same color. That same website also will have some templates that you can cut out and then trace if you want to do this with crayon or colored pencils or whatnot. Another popular design or motif found in cave paintings are handprints. So that's what I'm painting here in the little corner, giving them the five fingers. And then for my finishing touches, I decided to sign it and write my name in the top left hand corner so that when future archaeologists find my cave painting, they'll know who made it. Then once you're done and happy with it, you will have a cave painting which you can hang up on your bedroom wall or the fridge or wherever you like. Thank you very much 
for joining me today to make this cave drawing. And if you like this video, be sure to share it.